Yeah, I'm good. Drink your water. Thank you for holding. This is Karen, and how may I assist you today? Hi, Karen. My name is Barney. I need to speak to somebody about renting some storage from you guys. Oh, I can actually help you with your storage needs, sir. Do you mind you if can? I ask you? If you can? I can help you with your storage needs, oh, yes, sir. Karen, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, would you mind Honestly. if I ask you a few quick questions to save you some time and money? Of course. If it saves me money, Karen, you can ask me. When do you need the storage, sir? I really don't know yet. So, like, maybe... You don't have any idea when you need the storage? Maybe January 2009, you know, something okay, like that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And can you tell me approximately, sir, how long you're going to need the storage for? However long it takes them to, like, you know, shape up. How long it takes them to shape up? Yeah. Okay, well, can you tell me approximately what you're going to be storing, sir, so that I can find you the right size unit? All right. I was thinking about, because here's my situation, my little kids and my wife, they're not doing too good in school, my wife's going to college, they're getting distracted by the Nintendo Wii, and like that, you know, little automated bicycle type of thing that runs your name, and like that little tone, so yeah. So I was thinking about, you know, maybe storing their stuff there, as well as getting some like old boxes that are in my shed, and just putting them in there, because I need to make room for my lawnmower. Okay, so I need to like put my lawnmower there, but not where you guys were. I just need to like put the things in there, put the box in there, and get some with the weed and put that in there too. If that would be good for you guys. Okay, so you want to take all your kids' toys and put them in storage because they're being distracted from doing their homework. Correct. Okay, and can you give me an approximate idea of how many boxes you want to store? Is it going to be 60 or more or less? More or less, yeah. Okay, I understand it's either going to be more or less, but which one will it be, more or less? Oh, I thought I thought you were using like the the English No, do you think it'll be sixty boxes or I thought more? You were gonna or be, 60 I thought it was going to be like less. it's sixty boxes more or less, like you know how you would say that in a full sentence. Like I thought you meant okay. that. So right, I any other lawnmower? Would be, it would be any one. other items? No, no, I'm not. Pu I'm putting the lawnmower in my shed. I'm putting the boxes from okay. the shed into you guys so I can put the lawnmower in my shed. Okay. And can you tell me um, your zip code so I can pull up the area closest to you? 90210. 90210. All right, let me see what I can find for you. Just a second. Okay. And you don't need the storage until January, though. Yeah, yeah, 2009. That would be splendid. And I was just thinking, you know, maybe... Even if they're not shaping up and I take away the Wii, and I take away the Barbie Playhouse, and I take away the iPod, and I take away everything that, worst comes to worst, I just put them in storage, you know what I mean? You can't put your children in storage. Hypothetically, like everything like that they, they want, you know, except, uh -huh. you know, hypothetically speaking. All right, give me just a second, I'm researching the area to see what we have okay. available. And I'm doing a 10-mile radius search. You're in Los Angeles, correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, give me just a second. Let's get over right. here and see what they have. Do you have a pen and paper handy to write down some information? I do not. Let, let, me, let me get some. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. All right. I'm good. Wait. I'm good. Wait. Yeah. I have a location in. It, it Are you ready? No, no my pen, this pen's dead. Hold on, let me find another one. Okay. Find, oh, there it is. <coughs> this is a sharpie. I'm sorry. What were you saying? That's fine. I have a location right on Durango Avenue in Los Angeles. Where is that? It's if you're on the 10 freeway, you're going to get off of Venice Boulevard and go uh -huh. left past Robertson one block. The farmer, one block. Uh huh. It's a five by eight. It is approximately forty square feet of space. Five miles by an, eight miles, because that's like way too much. It's a five foot by eight foot storage unit. Oh, okay. Not uh, a five mile by eight mile storage unit. Because I was gonna say, that's long. Yeah, we don't have any five mile storage units. Well, I, what's, do you guys have anything in larger size? Okay, well, you said boxes, and you don't really need anything more than a 5 by 8 Well, I, I might want one just in case, you know. Like, I, I want to compare the prices and stuff just to... 
All right, I will go with a 5 by 10. It is approximately 50 square feet of space. It is an upstairs uh-huh. unit, which will save you money. How is a money. 5 by 10 50 square feet of space? Because 5 foot by 10 foot 50 square feet of space. I, I, I don't think that's how it's judged. Um, it is how it's judged, sir. I, I, 5 I foot by differ. 10 foot 50 square feet of space. More or less? No, not more or less. 5 by 10 is approximately 50 square feet of space. Oh, let, let, me, let me do the math. Hold on. Okay, you do the math, sir. Sir, while you're doing the math, would you like to hear the rates, or do you want to continue doing the math? I got 55. Okay, then it's 55 square feet of space. Yeah, the last time I checked, 5 times 10 is 50 square feet, though. Last time I checked on this piece of paper was 55. I I don't mean to argue, Okay, you you just multiplied 50... Five by ten and got fifty-five. Correct. Okay. Well, five times ten is in fact fifty. But that's kind of here regardless. I'm trying to give you the prices for the storage from you, ma'am. I already took that in kindergarten. I understand that you did multiplication in kindergarten, sir. Do you want the rates for the storage unit? That would be great for that fifty-five. Okay. Well, for the fifty-five square feet, you're right. It's an upstairs unit, which is going to save you money. There is an uh-huh. elevator, so it's going to make it extra easy for you to take your items back and forth to the approximate 55 square feet of space. It's going to rent for approximately wait, $88 wait, ma'am, a ma'am, month. Wait, wait, ma'am, hold up. How the hell is 5 by 10, 55 feet? I just redid that, and that's 52. You just told me. You're the one that told me that 5 by 10 is 55. You, I don't know. I don't know how it's at. No, but I, I, I just checked my paper, and it came out 52. Now it came up to 52. I don't know. You're getting closer, though. Anyway, the normal rent on this particular unit is $88 a month. On the 52 or 55, more or less? Sir, don't get stuck on the square footage. Let's talk about the price. All right. You don't have to give me an attitude. I'm just trying to understand. It's a 5-foot by 10-foot storage unit. All right, so 52 feet. Okay, 52 square feet. It's a prox- It's going to rent for $88 a month plus a one-time admin fee of $22. Uh-huh. There are no long-term leases. We do rent month to month, so you can decide how long to punish your children for. <laughs> and we do not require any kind of deposits on our units. How does that all sound so far? Sounds wonderful. It sounds wonderful. Okay, now what I would like to tell you is that right now they are running a dollar special. So the first month's rent is only a dollar plus the $22 admin fee. So for you to rent the approximately 52 square feet of space is only going to cost you $23 for the first 30 days. Now, sir, normally what I would do at this time is recommend that we do a seven-day hold. That's going to hold the unit out to the 19th of this month. That, that all sounds very wonderful, but I just want to apologize from the way I've said before. I just did the math again, and I apologize. You were right. It came out to 49.3. Okay, so now you've multiplied 5 by 10 and got 49.3. I, I, I don't even know if the square footage matters. Do you want to do a reservation on would, the would storage it be cheaper? unit, sir? Would it be cheaper if we measured it in cubic feet? Because that comes out to like 26 I don't, cubic I, feet. It, it, no, it doesn't matter if you multiply it cubic feet, square inches, or square feet. It's still the same price. More or less. No, not more or less. It's the same price. Are, are you sure? Cause, cause, I'm positive so, that it's the so same price. So for the price. 55 feet, the 52 feet, and the 49.3 feet, they're all the same price? How's that work? Yeah, no matter how you calculate it, 55 square feet, 50 square feet, or 49.2, the price I'm going to charge you per month is the same. Okay, okay. Okay? Now, what I'd like to do for you at this time is put the unit on hold for you. Normally, I could do a seven-day reservation, which will guarantee that the space is there on the 19th of December. Is there any chance okay. that you'd like to start punishing your children that early by taking their items away and putting them in storage? Or would you like to hold it out 30 days? 30 days would be great. And now, now right. that I'm, I'm doing the math again and it seems like it's all correct. I'm glad that we finally agreed that my math is correct, sir. 
Now, what I'm going to ask you at this time is I'm going to hold the price no, 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 and promotion instead out of for getting, those... instead, of getting, instead of getting 49.3, I just got the pie symbol. You got the pie symbol? I'm not even sure what you're doing anymore, sir, but to save me <laughs> from the stress of this conversation, can I please have your name and phone number? I w isn't the pie symbol going to be a little bit more expensive than, like, whatever number you said it equal to? No, sir. Calculating by pie is not going to change the price of the storage unit. But can I have your name and phone number, please? My name is Bonnie Stimpleton. Your first name is what again? Bonnie. Barney. B-A-R-N-E-Y. And your last name is what? Wow, Simpleton? This, this doesn't have to be English class. Simpleton. S-I-M-P-L-E-T-O-N? 